Greetings everybody, this is Ryan Jackson. I wanted to show you guys how to submit a code change proposal online to the NEC. This is something that I get asked about all the time. So I wanted to do a quick video. I went to NFPA.org and you go to Codes and Standards. Go down here to the list of Codes and Standards. Click on that. And we're going to search for NFPA 70, which is the National Electrical Code. Bring that up. Now it's going to ask us which edition we want to deal with. Do we want to deal with the current edition, the 2017, or are we going to make a proposal to the next edition, the 2020? So I'm going to click here on next edition. And you can see the 2020 edition is now open for public input. It used to be called proposals, now it's called public input. So we have the first draft, and then we have what's called the second draft. So the first draft we submit what we used to call proposals. Now we call public input. We'll, uh, we'll make a recommendation. We'll say, hey, change this section to say X, Y, and Z. That's public input. So we submit that online. We need to do that before September 7th of 2017. And then the code making panels will vote on it. And they'll post the results on July 6th, 2018. At that point, we're going to read the results of the public inputs and we're going to submit comments. We'll make a comment to say, hey, I love what you're doing, keep on accepting this. Or, you know, maybe you ought to consider accepting this in addition to that. Now, you can't submit what's called new material, but you're making comments to the inputs that were either accepted or rejected. Maybe your, maybe your public comment is, hey, look, you rejected this, but you didn't consider this, this, and this. So you should change the panel action to accept due to that. And maybe they will change it. No reject it at the first, uh, the first draft, and they'll accept it at the second draft. So right now, we're going to go ahead and submit a public input. I need to log in. You need to be a member. Now, being a member is free. You just have to create a membership. You don't need to pay any fees or anything like that. That's my email address, by the way, if you ever want to get in touch with me. All right, so it's going to bring up basically a version of the code book that you can edit. Now, I've got a section that I know I want to do in Chapter 3, Article 366, which is auxiliary gutters, Section 22, Number of Conductors. So I'm going to click on that. Now, which one do I want to change? I want to change subsection A. So I get a check mark there. Go down here and I go to revise the existing section. Now, this is going to bring it up in a format that I can go ahead and edit, just like a Word document or anything else. So what I want to do is I want to make this say what 376.22 says. So let me take a look here. The adjustment factors shall be applied only where the number of current carrying conductors, including neutrals that are classified, da, 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 exceeds 30. But I want to add some text here. In any one cross-sectional area. So that's going to be my input. Change that section to say that. Now I'm going to hit the next button. And it will let me review it. And yeah, this is pretty much what I wanted to say in any cross-sectional area. Yeah, it looks like I have a typo there. Any one cross-sectional area. So I'll revise that. That looks good. I'll hit the next button. Do I want to upload any additional proposed changes? Uh, no. So I, I'm just happy with what I've done. I could upload a file. I could draw a picture and say, hey, look, if it's hard for me to explain using words, take a look at this little drawing that I put together, and then maybe it'll make sense to you guys. So I can do things like that. I can upload files. I don't need to in this case. I'm just going to state my substantiation. This input seeks to mirror the requirements of 376.22. In the 2014 cycle, I made a change to 376.22. It was accepted. However, I forgot to make 
a proposal here as well. All right. Supporting material? No, just like it is. So we'll hit the next button. Do I want to add any related public inputs? Maybe this was a whole new idea, and I wanted to add this change to both 366 and to 376. Right? Maybe it wasn't in 376 before, and now I want it to be in both locations. So I could actually do that here. I would submit them both, and then it would, it would kind of alert the panel, say, look, if you vote yes on this one, you probably ought to vote yes on that one. Uh, both of those would be under code making panel eight. Well, let's say I made a change uh, somewhere where that we were across two different articles that are under the purview of two different code making panels. Maybe one to uh, I don't know article three thirty four, which is panel well, panel six now, and one to three sixty six, which is panel eight. If I put them together like this, then it would alert both of those that maybe they need to work together and come up with some correlation. So. It's kind of a nice feature. I'm going to hit the next button. Yes, my name is Ryan. That's me. I'm not affiliated with anybody. It's myself. So I'm going to hit the next button. Check that box to confirm it. Hit the submit button and you're done. That's all there is to it. And you can go back through and you can check all of your proposals by going through here. I don't remember how many. I've got a bunch of them, but I don't remember any off the top of my head. So I could, I could search through here, though, and I could find all of my different proposals. So, for example, I know I've got one in 501 wiring upgrades for Class 1 Division 2. There you go. I actually submitted two. So I could view those things, and in the green box there, it says that they're submitted. So we're in good shape that way. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, I know I, I get a lot of questions about that. So uh, if that's beneficial, then I'm glad. So thanks, everybody. Take care.